Hey everybody, Zill Brothers here once again, bringing the truth to the old and to the youth. And I want to talk about the story of Dak Prescott. Now, for those of you who don't know, Dak Prescott is the star quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys, who recently were in the news because they got bounced out the playoffs by the San Francisco 49ers. And as he lost the game, on to me what was one of the dumbest play claw calls that was in playoff history. Um, but as he lost the game, he kind of was mad because the refs called the game. Really was his own fault um, and Mike McCarthy's fault. But as he left the game, some of the fans appeared to be targeting him. And he was upset about that until people told him they were actually targeting the refs. And he said, oh, oh that's good. Good. Target them. And so... He was essentially endorsing violence against the refs. And so, this is the NFL. The NFL has yet to really say anything about this incident. And I hope they do come down and find him. But in the meantime, and I'm not going to, I'm not miss saying this. I'm going to say the NBA officials, right? Now, you may think, Brian miss saying that. He got to be talking about the NFL officials. No, the NBA, the basketball officials have condemned Dak Prescott. Because they said he's endorsing violence against refs, and that's unexcusable, right? And I agree with these guys. Why would Dak Prescott be doing this? Here's the thing. And we as men, we really got to take responsibility for this because this happens all the time. It happens anytime somebody loses a video game. It happens anytime you don't get that promotion and somebody else gets it. We start blaming other people for our own results. When you look at Dak Prescott, he had a pretty bad game. In fact, most of Dallas had a bad game. They were very undisciplined. They made a lot of dumb calls. They made a lot of bad decisions throughout the game. It seemed like they didn't realize that it was a playoff game and that they were playing for their season on the line, right? Um, and as a result of not wanting to take responsibility for the results of his own actions, he's trying to call out the refs. He's trying to act like, those last two seconds that maybe he would have got would have just changed everything. And maybe it would have. But the truth of the matter is, is that him losing those seconds was ultimately his fault. And let's just talk about it. Because with 14 seconds left in the game, the Dallas Court Cowboys, for whatever reason, it was about second and two, they decided to run a quarterback draw. And as they ran a quarterback draw, Dak Prescott ran about 14 yards down the field, slides. As he slides, the clock is still running because in football, if you run the ball and you stop in bounds, the clock keeps running. So they try to snap the ball. But the problem is the NFL has a rule and the rule has always been in existence. And this is the rule. The umpire has to set the ball before you can snap it. Well, the Cowboys wanted to snap the ball real fast, but they did not give it to the ref. And here's the truth of the matter. Had they had their heads in the game, they could have given the ball to the ref. That would have probably saved them about two seconds. And then when the ball was snapped, they could have ran a play that mattered. But they didn't. And so what happened is when they snapped the ball, that would have been another opportunity. See, because when the ref was giving them the ball, they snapped it. Literally, it was zero seconds on the clock. Dak Prescott spikes the ball with zero seconds on the clock, which meant the game was over. Anybody that had some awareness would have said to themselves, dang it, it is too close a call to spike the ball when the clock is literally going from one to zero. See, the, the NFL doesn't have the kind of clock the NBA has where it goes into tenths of seconds and maybe sometimes even to the hundredths of seconds. They don't have that. They have a clock that just goes one, zero. And so he spiked the ball when the clock was going zero. And anybody with some kind of awareness, think of somebody like an Aaron Rodgers, he would have snapped that ball, he would have ran a play. Now, I will hope that the Packers wouldn't be dumb enough to run the ball into the middle of the field and slide with 14 seconds left and expect to run another play. But even if you did do that, you got to be smart enough to get the ball to the ref so that you can snap the ball as soon as you can, so that you can make the best decision that is possible with the time that is given you. 
And that doesn't even count the countless other mistakes that Dallas made throughout that game that basically threw that game. To then go into a press conference and endorse violence against the refs is passing the blame. And I think a lot of men got to think about that because that's our natural instinct. It's something we got to fight against, right? Every time that we lose control, oh, so-and-so made me mad. Really? How does somebody make emotions happen in your brain? Who's really responsible for your own emotional reaction to something? See, we as men, we got to start owning ourselves. See, the truth of the matter is, especially as black men, we always talk about somebody wants to be our slave master. But until we become our own masters, we can never truly be free. And one of the first things that you have to master is the responsibility for your own actions. And I'm not perfect in that, right? I'm the same as you. I'm one who likes to blame others too. But it is something that we have to resist if we want to grow into the men that we're supposed to be. It's something that we have to do. Now, we know women got a big problem with that. And <laughs> let me tell you. We can't hold women accountable, though, until we first hold ourselves accountable. We got to hold ourselves accountable for our weight. We got to hold ourselves accountable for our wages. We got to hold ourselves accountable for our education, for our attainment, to our societal uh, complexity. Right? We got we to gotta hold ourselves accountable first. And when we do that, then we gain the right to hold everybody else accountable, whether they want to give it to us or not. Because at the end of the day, we are in a position we are in mainly because of our own actions. So, don't be like Dak Prescott. Take responsibility for your own actions. Don't be endorsing stupid alternatives to you taking responsibility, to you taking your own ownership. Own yourself.